Biden is in the news. Okay. We heard this in the car. On the news. Oh, you did? And we were coming back. We heard this on the news. Oh, Biden pardons thousands of marijuana users that's in jail, y'all. Mm-hmm. But the federal level, though. We're President Joe ahead. Biden announced Friday he's issuing a federal pardon to every American who has used marijuana in the past, mm-hmm. including those who were never arrested or prosecuted. Hmm. The sweeping pardon applies to all U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents in possession of marijuana for their personal use and those convicted of similar federal crimes. It also <laughs> forgives... Go ahead. What'd you say, Wendy? Why don't they just make it legal? Stop playing. It's ridiculous. It says... It also forgives pot users in the District of Columbia. It does not apply to individuals who have been jailed for selling the drug, which is illegal under federal law or other marijuana offenses such as driving under the influence. So selling it, you still got to stay in jail. It's so so confusing because you're saying you can have your own personal amount. Okay. Let me get my own personal mail. How am I going to get my own personal mail? It's still legal. It's a contradiction. They have stores all down in Philadelphia. Pot is not legal here. Selling all mm-hmm. kinds of pipes and papers and all kinds of things. That's legal. So one is legal and one is not. You can have it, but how are you going to get it if it's not legal? The person it's that it's that's true. The person that sells it to you is I in trouble. I would be much more. I would be much more upset. If I saw a bottle of whiskey in my teenager's book bag, then I would if I saw a joint. I would be much more upset. Mm-hmm. They, they need to stop playing. People, they, they're not going to have that conversation about alcohol because people will choke you out. But I'm just saying, it should be across the board. Mm-hmm. It's the drug. Stop playing confusing people. It makes no sense. If they don't have a lot of weight, if they got a lot of weight, I can understand that. Mm-hmm. But if, if they have enough for somebody to smoke in a week, I yep. mean, who cares? Yep. It says the implication of Biden's pardon promises to have significant implications as criminal records for marijuana use and possession have imposed barriers to employment, housing, and educational opportunities. However, the pardons do not apply to people who violated state law. And anyone who wants to receive proof of a pardon will have to apply through the Department of Justice. So state, okay, it's only federal. So if you got arrested under state, it doesn't, it's not pardoning you. So how are you arrested under state? If you do something criminal within your state, but it's not federal. See, they all over the place. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It is crazy. Makes no sense. And that is not about a bunch of red tape. Yeah. The basic thing he's saying is Biden says um, people should not be sent to prison just for using marijuana. Right. Because it's legal now. And he's urging each state. How are you going to buy it? It's not legal to buy it. I'm thinking. I'm going to get my own personal stash. If I go out there and buy it, it's illegal. How am I going to get it? It doesn't make sense to be okay with you taking something and saying it's legal. But not selling. But when you sell that same substance, which is still should not be that's illegal. illegal. Yeah, that's weird. I, I'm, oh, because I'm not getting it from those uh, dispensary, dispensaries. Right well, now. Says is that he, what it is he, now? It depends on what state. He oh. urged governors to forgive yeah. state. In Philadelphia, it costs two hundred and fifty dollars to get your license for marijuana to sell it. But that's not that's not with THC. That's medicinal. Well, this is what the Congressional Black Caucus said. They like it. They said it's a positive step forward in it's addressing yeah. in addressing longstanding racial disparities. Now, this part I agree with with crack and cocaine, powder yeah. cocaine. Yeah. Which for generation has whole, disproportionately imprisoned Black Americans. Yeah, the whole reason why marijuana is illegal in the first place—I can't remember the name—but he was like a Donald Trump. 
and he was running for mayor. And he told them, listen, I'll get these Negroes out of these clubs. It used to be that marijuana was only for the white people, chic, rich people. Then it went from that to black people who were doing the clubs and doing the music. So he told me, he said, look, I'll get all these Negroes out of Harlem. I'll get them out there. I'll make it illegal and they'll all be gone. And that's how marijuana became illegal. I'm going to look up his name. But that's what it was. They were trying to get black people out of the clubs in New York. Uh -huh. and they were illegal that they would get rid of them. Okay. Be, you can Google this on YouTube. How did marijuana become illegal? illegal. Okay. Well, it says a record 70% of Americans in October surveyed said that marijuana should be legalized. The majority, guess who the majority of the people who favored it? Who? Republicans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it said Republicans. And the high popular, it was highly popular among liberals. Democrats and young Americans who Biden hopes to inspire to vote for the re-election. So that's what he did He's it getting for. Votes. He's he getting wanna votes. Get those, he wanted to get those votes. Yeah. And you know how many people will be freed from prison when what? they can't vote? If they got a felon, oh, they part. They if you pardon, can you still vote? If you're pardoned, you can. Can you? If you're pardoned if you're, from prison, if you're pardoned, everything is off the record. It's like you know, filed for bankruptcy. If you're pardoned, everything is clean on your record. So they can vote. They the, the yeah, people that vote. you'll be pardoned from. They can uh, vote. See, you're looking it up just to make sure. Free felon voting rights. And then I thought it was certain things too. If you were arrested for, if you have a felon, um, if you are a felon, I, can you pardon? You can't pardon somebody who murdered somebody. If no, they, I don't think you so. can't. After, even no. if they've been in there for twenty some years, they've already served the time per se. I'm, that's true. I'm, I'm asking. I don't know. I'm I don't asking. know either, y'all. That's good. Everybody, look that up. We'll talk about that on a future show. Questions okay, are. I'll try to find something on it. Questions are, if you're pardoned, can you vote? Are you able to vote? And if you're able to vote in all elections or just maybe certain elections? And number two, can, what are there some things you cannot be pardoned from? Like certain crimes. Certain and is there a difference between being pardoned from the president and the governor? So if the president pardons you, is that bigger than if I the governor pardons you? I think so, it is. But. So all, everybody mm -hmm. looked that up. Okay. Good yeah, question. The governor it pertains to that, that state, right? Yeah. Those are good questions. Those are very good questions. Okay. All right. So those are good. Oh, let's see what y'all said in the chat. Um, say no. Oh, nothing. Okay. Emma said, I do it for him. I do it for me, not him. Not him. Okay. All right, y'all. Now, I was going to do this story yesterday.